Okay, and then there's this. I have five hundred dollars. If I save a hundred dollars per month, how long will it be before I can afford to buy an item that costs two thousand dollars? Okay, there's two units, so two units. So if there's two units, I need to format my problem like this. And look at what you have for your units. You have dollars and months. So dollars, months. Now it says that y is the dollars, so equals y, and it says that x is the months. And then when I write per, I need to put the x label beneath the word, under the per, and then the y label on top. Okay, now go find a, a dollars that's per month. Well, five hundred dive or have five hundred dollars. That's not each month or per month. Hundred dollars per month. Okay, so the dollars per month is one hundred. I know what that is. Okay, so I make a line and I put y m x y, but right away I get rid of the m because I know that that is this amount over here, one hundred. Okay, so hundred x. So I scribble out the first y, and then before that, before the hundred, I see there's five hundred, so I can just put five hundred. So the equation is 500 plus 100x equals y. Okay, now I take the final amount in the problem, $2,000. Put the label on it, so it's $2,000. Now, dollars is the y, okay? So it's dollars, so I want to put that in for the y. So there's no number in front of it, so I can just scribble it out and put 2,000. I don't need to put a parentheses. And then I need to get this x by itself, so I'm going to need to dot it with the 100 and then get the x by itself. So I have this 500, so I'm going to minus 500. And then from 2,000, so 100 dot x equals 1,500. Okay, Then I divide. Okay, 1,500 divided by 100 is 15. Okay, so the answer is 15. Okay, number two. A golf club charges a one-time membership fee along with a cost for each race played. Each round, each round played, each round played. Each round played will cost $5. So far, I paid twenty round, played twenty rounds of golf, and paid a total of two hundred fifty dollars. How much total money will I owe if I play a total of fifty rounds this summer? So again, there's two units. So anytime there's two units, I want to make these three things kind of off to the side. Okay, so the units I have underlined are dollars and rounds. Now, one of them's Y and one of them's X. Dollars is Y and rounds is X. Okay, so I write per. So the X unit goes on the bottom, so per round, and then dollars on top. Okay, now I'm looking through the problem. Now, per and each mean the same thing. So here's the word each, and it says each round played will cost $5. So I can go ahead and put $5. If I see the word per each and know the number that goes with that, I can put that there. Okay, so that's a line, and then Y, M, X, Y. So I have my M, I know that's $5. However, there's no money amount that came before the $5, okay? Because I don't see a number that comes before for five, so I need to use y equals m dot x plus b, and then a combo. Okay, now my combo, it has to be one of each of these. They gotta be in the same sentence. So remember, five dollars didn't have a number with it in the sentence, it just said each round played will cost five dollars. And then the next sentence says, so far I've paid 20 rounds of golf and paid a total of $250. So those are in the same sentence, so it's going to be 20 rounds and $250. OK, 
Okay, so now get rid of the Y, the M, and the X. Now I know that M is 5. Okay, now the Y is the money, so the $250 is our Y, and the rounds, the 20 is our X. Okay, so Y is out. We want to put 250, and then I want to times dot 20. So I have 250 equals, and I need to times these two. So 5 times 20 is 100 plus B. Now you want to put a 1 in front of that B and circle it, dot it if you want. That tells me, okay, I'm going to need to add or subtract 100, so I'm going to subtract it because it's positive. Okay, so that is 150 equals B. Okay, I don't, if it's 1 dot B, I'm just going to say it's B. So 150. So my equation, I have 150 plus 5x equals y. Okay, so the final value in the problem is 50 rounds. Now i got to decide where that goes. Well, it's rounds. Rounds is x. So here's my x. I need to parenthesize it before I scribble it out, and I need to put 50. So the Y is the other letter that's still there, and that's by itself. So I can just go into my calculator here. So 150 plus 5, parentheses 50, and that's 400. So 400 equals Y. So that's my answer, 400. Now if this number here equals X, it's, you're going to be able to plug it in your calculator. It's when that number equals Y where you have to get the x by itself. Okay, number three. Just a few days ago, I filled up my lunch account balance. After three days of eating, I had $63 remaining on my balance. After six days of eating, I had $51 remaining on my balance. How many days since I filled up my account will my balance reach $0? Okay, again, we have two units. There are two underlying units. So I want to go this route here. Okay, so days and money, and days has X above it, and money has Y. So per, dollars per day. So after three days of eating, I had $63 remaining on my balance, but it didn't say each day or per day, so it's not 63 and then 51 doesn't have each or per with it. So I need to figure out what this is. They don't just tell me it. So if I need to figure it out, I'm going to use my y minus y, x minus x formula. Now the y is dollars, so I'm going to put a little dollar sign up there, and then the x is days. So my money, the first money amount I have is $63 and then $51. So, 51, or no, you can put them in order, 63 minus 51. Okay, and then the days are on bottom, so I have three days and six days. So, that's going to be three minus six. So, we're going to have 12 and then negative three. So, divide that and it equals negative four. So, the dollars per day is negative four. It's negative because it goes down. Okay. okay, so Y, MX, and Y, and I know my M is negative 4, so right away we need to get rid of that and put negative 4 in. And get rid of this first Y. Now, I didn't even have negative 4 in the problem, so to figure out my beginning, I again need to use Y equals M dot X plus B. And then I'm going to need a combo from the story problem that has the X and the Y both in it. It's got to be in the same sentence. So after three days of eating, comma, I had $63 remaining on my balance. So these two are in the same sentence. And so are these two. It doesn't matter which one you use. That, as long as they're in the same sentence. So I've got three days and $63. Okay, so the M is negative 4. And three days, so days is X, so this goes in for X, and this goes in for Y. Okay, so Y comes out of the problem, and I put 63 in, 
and then dot 3. So I have 63. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 plus B. Now I want to put a 1 in front of the B and circle it. And now I have a negative 12. So if it's negative, I'm going to add 12 to each side. So 75 equals 1B. You don't need to divide by 1. That's just what we're going to put as our beginning, 75. So my equation, we have 75 plus negative 4x equals y. Okay, so that's my final value, zero dollars. Okay, that's dollars, so dollars is y. So the zero is going in for y. y has nothing in front of it, so I don't need a parentheses. I can just scribble it, and then I'm going to get the x by itself. Dot circle, minus 75, minus 75, and negative 4 dot x equals negative 75. Okay, now it is time to divide by negative 4. Okay, so negative 75 divided by negative 4 is 18.75. I'm going to round that up to 19. So 19 days. Or 18, 18 or 19. Okay, then the last one, number four. A football coach is buying helmets and practice jerseys. The football coach buys 10 helmets and 15 practice jerseys for a total of $1,350. If helmets cost $75 each, how much do practice jerseys cost? This time we have three units, the helmets, the practice jerseys, and the dollars. So that's three units. So with three units, we're going to want to make our table. So total, total, and this is dollars total, the dollars single, and then how many units we actually have, okay? And I've got helmets and practice jerseys. Okay, so what's our money total? There's one total cost, and it is 1350 It's the highest money amount you have, so 1000 350. Cross it out. Okay, and how many? This is for non-money numbers. So I see 10 doesn't have a money number. It's 10 helmets. And 15 doesn't have a number, money number, and that's practice jerseys, 15 practice jerseys. So I don't need to put anything in this right here. Okay, I can black that out. In the second row, I always black this one out. And I'm looking for other money numbers. Okay, I've got $75, and that's for the helmets. So $75. And I don't know the, the practice jerseys, so that's X. So 10 times 75 is 750, and 15 times X is 15X. So my equation, I'm going to have 750 plus 15X equals 1350. And I just have to solve for my x. That's the only one I had, so I just dot it and circle it. And I have minus 750, minus 750, and 15 dot x equals 600. Then I divide by 15, divide by 15. 600 divided by 15 gives me an answer of 40. Okay, so... The practice jerseys cost $40 each. Okay.